हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज कैप्टिव ब्रीडिंग ऑफ एनिमल्स बट बिफोर दैट इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल सो स्टार्टिंग विद द टॉपिक ऑफ कैप्टिव ब्रीडिंग लेट्स डू द इंट्रोवर्स सो एन एवर एक्सपेंडिंग ह्यूमन पॉपुलेशन is putting increased pressure on the endangered species and driving many to extinction so there is a need to conserve the rare and the endangered species and for this captive breeding is one of the efficient tool so basically there is a continuous decline in the endangered species or the threatened species so there is a need to conserve them so captive breeding is one of the best methods to conserve the species definition of captive breeding so it is the process of capturing breeding raising and sometime reintroducing a wild species that is the threatened and the endangered ones in a controlled environment that is outside their natural habitats under the care of the wildlife biologist and other experts so what does that mean it is an ex situ conservation method of animals where it is practiced basically in zoos botanic gardens aquariums seed banks etc then historical perspective so gerald durrell was the pioneer of captive breeding then what are the aims for what are or we can say the what is the purpose for the captive breeding so first is to increase the number and the fitness of the offsprings that are produced it means that is uh, see in natural habitat of an endangered animal it is problematic to stay or to produce offspring so captive breeding gives a better solution for this problem then identifying the optimal method for the reintroduction that is based on the behavioral and other properties of an animal that what is the best mode of reintroduction for them that is whether an animal is shy or weak or strongly able to adapt to the new environment based on that feature only then maximizing the survivorship and reproduction of the released individuals then conservation and the captive maintenance of the threatened species so what are the stages in the captive breeding program we can say first is there is a decline of a wild population that is we can say uh, an endangered animal then genetic due to genetic consequences that some sort of problem then the choice of founder population that is we have to find a particular uh, capable population which we have to breed in the captive breeding program then the growing of the captive population then the maintenance of captive population that these two process are held in captivity only then reintroducing the individuals into a care of wildlife biologist or whatever place it is and managing the reintroduced population that is at this phase also management is required for the reintroduced population according to the behavioral uh, adaptations that they possess this is a diagram that is the development of captive breeding and reintroduction program so here we can say the first phase is that that is here the this is the founding phase where the population size of a particular species is very low according to time then here husbandry techniques have been developed for their population growth suddenly or we can say gradually the population start increasing population control begins then the reintroduction begins at this point when when the growth phase has increased gradually and at last the target site has should be achieved and this is known as the capacity phase so this is the diagram representing the capacity build, captive breeding reintroduction program then captive breeding in india so a number of endangered wild animal species have been prioritized by the central zoo authority for the captive breeding in zoos for example pygmy hog 
रेड पांडा हैंगुल गोल्डन लेंगू रेनोसेरोस किंग कोबरा मस्क डियर मोनल ग्रेट इंडियन बस्टर्ड एंड वर्चर सो देर आर सम सॉर्ट ऑफ इश्यूज और वी कैन सी द चैलेंजेस रिलेटेड टू द कैप्टिव ब्रीडिंग प्रोग्राम वट आर दोज फर्स्ट इज द सोर्स ऑफ द फाउंडर पॉपुलेशन दैट इज हाउ टू डिसाइड वट सॉर्ट ऑफ पॉपुलेशन और विच एनिमल स्पीसीज शुड बी कंसिडर्ड फॉर द फाउंडर पॉपुलेशन और द वी कैन सी इनिशियल पॉपुलेशन फॉर द कैप्टिव ब्रीडिंग प्रोग्राम देन स्पेस रिक्वायरमेंट इन कैप्टिविटी वी हैव टू एडजस्ट द स्पेस एज पर द नेचुरल हैबिटेट ऑफ दैट एनिमल देन द कोर्टशिप और मेटिंग बिहेवियर ऑफ दैट एनिमल देन द इंटरेंसिक रेट ऑफ इंक्रीज दैट इज इफ इट इंक्रीज स्टडीली और फास्टली देन वट शुड बी द प्रायोरिटी ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर बायोलॉजिस्ट देन द आइसोलेशन ऑफ द सब पॉपुलेशन दैट इज If there is some sort of different in their groups or population, then they should be isolated according to that pattern. What are the advantages of the captive breeding? First is endangered animals have a safe place to live. and continue breeding to prevent the extinction then the zoos aquaria and the marine mammal parks are safe and have small risk of being harmed but there are some disadvantages also so first is animals get stressed easily from the small enclosures or crowding basically in the we can say cages in that they live then animals lack the mental stimulation at physical exercise why because they cannot interact with each other as like in their natural habitat freely and independently some animals are forced to live in the climates that do not suit them so this is also a problem then some technologies are used in the captive breeding program the first is art then cryo preservation then cloning and this then the challenges related to the captive breeding program again so first is in the genetics that is the adaptation in breeding and loss of a diversity can be a major concern then genetic diversity that is increased impact of genetic drift so what is a genetic drift it describes the random fluctuations in the numbers of the gene variants in a population uh then the inbreeding problem we have that is uh, and then we have the outbreeding prob- problem that also leads to the reduction in the fitness then some behavioral changes this is for example uh, captive breeding can contribute to changes in the behavior in the animals that have been reintroduced to the wild they display more risk taking behavior and they fail to avoid the predators also because in the captive breeding they do not know the nature of the predators or okay so when they are released into the uh, natural habitat again then they possess some sort of uh we can say problems then general post release problems what are the problems that animal face after the post release so low fitness in wild it is um, not uh, adapted to the environment it is um uh, absence of uh, it has absence of knowledge of the predators okay then increase fitness in wild and the captive individuals may hybridize with the wild individual so it is also a problem then examples of the animals that are uh, we can say used in the captive breeding program first is in category of birds that is pink pigeon critically endangered then in mammal pygmy hawk endangered then reptile round island bow endangered then in amphibian poison dart frog that is threatened so and these are the end. so captive breeding parks of indian wild animals that is first is katraj snake park in pune snake for then madras crocodile bank in chennai for crocodile then devaliya safari park in gujarat for lion then ramnagar vulture sanctuary in karnataka for vulture this is the basic diagram for the basic steps in the captive breeding first is banking a species then the selection of the facilities for the captivity program then breeding and then reintroduction so yeah this is all about the topic of the captive breeding hope you will like my video and if you like my video please do subscribe to my channel